From nearly the beginning of the entire game, everyone is telling you to get to the Earth Tree. You finally reach the outer walls of the grand capital city of Lindell, where the Earth Tree is located, and there's this jerk just standing out in front of the city's entrance like the bouncer at a nightclub who won't let you in. Well, I'm Jamie Latour, and I'm gonna help you get into the city of Lindell by showing you how to defeat the Draconic Tree Sentinel in Elden Ring. So first of all, we need to find this horse-riding jerk. The easiest way to do that is to enter the outer wall region of Lindell via this entrance right here on the map. You'll have to dodge a bunch of projectiles being lobbed at you by trebuchets to get here, but somehow this is the easier route for getting inside as the other way requires you to climb a large set of stairs that features a ton of enemies and two tree sentinels at the very top. That's right, two tree sentinels at once. I'll take the trebuchets, thank you very much. Now we want to get to this point on the map, so head up this way, go up these steps, travel through this graveyard that's filled with skeletons, and you should reach a wide open area with three golems. One will have a big old axe, while the other two use gigantic great bows to fire gigantic arrows at you. Kill the archer golems, and then ride up the way and you'll find a stake of America right before you see the dragon iconic tree sentinel. Before we get into the fight proper, there's a few interesting tidbits of information regarding this encounter. If you've progressed far into Fia the Deathbed Companions questline, you can actually skip this boss fight and be sent straight to Lindale. This could be a good way to get past the Draconic Tree Sentinel without fighting it, but Fia's questline requires you to make your way through the Deep Root Depths region of Elden Ring, and that could be a very long and difficult road. In all honesty, it might be simpler to just fight the Tree Sentinel. As for NPCs that can help you win this fight, Great Horn Tragoth should be available to summon near the Stake of Merica, or depending on how far along you are in her quest line, you may also be able to summon Millicent here as well. Now let's look at what this boss can do. In the Draconic Tree Sentinel's first phase, he'll try to smash you with his giant mace, crush or swipe at you with his giant great shield, or just let his horse try to stomp you into the ground. The horse will also attack to launch a fireball into your delicate face. Once its health bar is about halfway done, this sentinel will start using its phase 2 attacks. You can tell this phase has started once you see a whole bunch of red lightning. His melee smashes will now be powered up with lightning, and he'll sweep his weapon across the ground to create a wave of lightning. He'll summon lightning from the sky to strike you, and the worst attack is when you see little bits of lightning on the ground, as that means multiple lightning strikes are on the way. If you're a close-up melee fighter, this battle can be difficult as it can be hard to get the timing down on these lightning strikes, along with his AoE and quick horseback attacks. However, this boss is quite weak to weapons that use thrusting or striking attacks, so melee can be effective. You just need to make sure that you don't get too greedy. Just whack him once or twice, then back out of there and keep your distance when he sets up for one of his big lightning attacks. One way to even things out with this boss is to ride a horse yourself. Being on Torrent makes dodging lightning and keeping up with the Sentinel much easier. Just keep in mind that getting knocked off your horse does leave you flat on your back and wide open for more damage. For ranged characters, you're definitely going to want to ride Torrent, and if you have the intelligence, fire off some quick sorceries like the Glenstone Pepple. You may also want to wear the Radican Icon Talisman that you got from Rhea Lucaria, as the faster you can cast your spells, the better. Other things to think about is that armor, spells, or talismans that give you defense against lightning will be handy here, and this sentinel is weak against bleed, scarlet rot, and poison. Speaking of poison, if you're having a lot of issues with this boss fight, there is a way to completely cheese the draconic tree sentinel. You see, I guess that helmet of his must dramatically hamper his peripheral vision, as you could carefully sneak up on him by using these bushes. You could then get behind him and use use the Poison Mist incantation until he's poisoned. For whatever reason, this guy will not notice that he's being poisoned and will just sit there and take the damage. Maybe he just thinks it's indigestion. Now the downside of course to this method is that it will take a while for the poison to finish him off, and you'll have to do this a few times to fully take him out. 
but it will work. So if you have the patience for this method, you can easily take down the Draconic Tree Sentinel this way and waltz your way into Lindale. Defeating the Draconic Tree Sentinel will earn you the Dragon Great Claw Colossal Weapon and the Dragon Claw Great Shield. On top of that, you'll now be able to enter the city of Lindale and bear witness to my new favorite enemy, the Marshmallow Men who attack you by blowing bubbles with their golden horns. Whoever designed this enemy better be getting a raise. For more Elden Ring news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.